Good morning vlog. I'm happy to be back. Happy Easter. Yesterday, I'm sorry for whatever Greg put you through. I have not seen the final product yet, but I have an idea. So today is obviously Easter Sunday. Greg will be editing his vlog tomorrow after work. So it's gonna be a late one folks on Monday. And this comes out Tuesday. So Monday will have already happened. Okay, so I don't need to tell you that. Our plans for the day are to sit down and attend Easter mass at 11 a.m. And then we're going over to my parents' house to pick up some groceries that my mom so graciously picked up for us. I'm also gonna give her some Easter big goods. I don't know, you know, set them down, walk away, or <laughs> put them in the mailbox or something. I'm a little nervous that we're gonna go over there. My mom's gonna try to convince us to like stay and sit down and eat and visit. What is it about this whole thing that like some people are completely scared out of their minds and some people are just, yeah, come over, hang out. No, I will do no such thing. So I've had a pretty productive morning. Last night, I kind of stress baked. I didn't bake, no baking. It wasn't a baking recipe. Stress cre cooked, stress created some peanut butter energy bites. There's no heat required. I don't know if Greg even included that in his vlog. I don't think he did, but I already set it up on my WordPress, which I spent a long time updating yesterday. So now energy bite recipes are already up. I'm glad to just, if anything, I don't love the fact that I don't have my own domain and then it's just like a WordPress blog situation, but it's nice to just have like some place to host a lot of my info and the content I've created just so I can reference it and don't have to dig things up in different platforms and I want everything I make, whether it shows up on YouTube or Instagram or what have you, I want everything I make to end up sitting on this site. So it's like a one-stop shop. And then at one point I'll probably buy a domain when I'm not broke. <laughs> Alright, I am pretty far into Friday's vlog, so I have no worries about finishing it today. So I think I'm gonna walk away. We have mass in about 45 minutes, and I think I'm gonna like shower and freshen up, maybe put on a little makeup, maybe put on like a church outfit. I just, I know we're not doing Easter dinner today, and I'm not making a big to do because I can't even get the supplies to make a to do, and I'd rather wait to have the whole Easter shebang postponed until we can be with family again but i want to try a little bit today and greg said he's gonna wear like nice pants to sit down on the couch and watch mass with me so i'm gonna match his level of effort here and put on some sort of easter outfit it will be nice to like have a reason to get kind of dressed up so i think i'm gonna do that i have a wonderful cup of coffee that my husband to be brewed up and i got a great playlist going so today's starting out well what could go wrong famous last words we're having another day where we manifest. Let's go to grandma's. Come on, Benny girl. I can close it. Oh no. What? Greg's mad at me that I took so long to get ready, but you know, we haven't been places, so I wanted to look cute. <laughs> wanted every reason to get dressed. My Easter fit. Yes, those are the same pants I was wearing the other day. And I'm wearing my new sandals. Feels good to get ready. So we're on our way to my parents. I got some baked goods to barter for groceries. This baby girl's with us because she's gonna meet her new cousin? Mm -hmm. Aunt? Aunt. Cousin. We'll say, but you say generally cousin when it comes to family members' dogs. It's her cousin. Oh, mom, she is so cute. You did a good job. <laughs> Your dog has pointer in her. Yeah, right the way she stands. Oh, yeah. A dog's got shitter. <laughs> <laughs> go play. Right? Go play. Huh? Huh? You want to play with her? <laughs> oh, that's the most dominant I've seen Benny be. Usually she just lays down, but she's like, finally, something smaller than me. Oh, look at her. Go get her. Go get her. Hi. Get <laughs> Hazel. Someone was a big baby about sitting in the back by herself. I think Hazel might have worn her, worn her out a little bit. Yeah. That dog. It's very cute. Very cute. I mean, half of that is just that's what you get when you get a puppy Aussie of any type. And half of that is that that dog's a spoiled brat. We have a sweet baby. 
Angel. Yes, we do. I feel like I like a game show host. I'm just gonna call this haul from mom and dad because it's groceries, but it's also Easter stuff. And just like, every time I go to my parents, I was like, oh, I have something for you. And it's like something my mom's trying to get rid of or some picture of mine she found somewhere or some sort of souvenir of something. And so this is a miscellaneous haul. First, we're gonna start with the grocery items because this is stuff we knew we were gonna get. First things first, uh, canned goods. I asked you to get black beans and chickpeas aka garbanzo beans, just because those are two staples of mine that I always mix into salads and anything really. So, um, old fashioned oats, cause you know I love my protein oatmeal. Uh, diet soda, cause I'm a sucker for it. And she got A and W, she, she splurged. I was like, you can get store brand, I don't care. She splurged. Sterile Bill Simpson tested positive for COVID-19. No! Man, I love him. I hope he's gonna be okay. Broccoli. I asked her to get me fruit and I told her to pick whatever looks good. And she ended up getting pears, which is what I normally would've gotten myself anyway, so right on. Strawberry, oh, Greg, she got you strawberry preserves. Greg insists that like jelly and preserves are so far apart that he won't eat preserves. You gotta at least try them. Oh, my favorite red grapes. The key to a good grape is that it's gotta be firm enough that it has that like snap when you bite into it, like the skin snaps. A mushy grape just, you know, doesn't hit the same. Fresh farmed Atlantic salmon filet, mom. Wait, what? Some salmon. We don't have to save this for a Friday anymore. Lent is over. I know. Almond milk, 1% milk. We got a dozen eggs. My egg whites. Oh, this is perfect. Non-fat, plain Greek yogurt. These are my, my go-tos every single time. Nothing you exciting here. Detergents? Yeah, I'm good. I will get to that. Baby carrots. That's a new regular for me, baby carrots. I don't usually buy them that often, but I found that they're really satisfying for like, when you feel snacky, but you're not hungry, just grab a couple of those because it has that crunch effect that like you're real. I'm, I'm not hungry. I just really want to crunch on something. Lean ground turkey. She got the 94%. Go to mom. Do you want to have that for dinner? You want tacos? Could you tacos? We always do tacos. I love tacos. I know. She also got us chicken breasts. We'll, we'll think about it. Blueberries. 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 These look good. They look big. Yeah, look at that. Look at those big babies. Okay, so that's it for Wegmans. Uh, oh, come on. Let's call them. What? Let's call them. Let's call who? Let's call them. What are you going to request? Dogs in quarantine. Greg put Mark Ribier on. He's taking requests for his corn streams. If you don't know who Mark Ribier is, you got some catching up to do. So while I have all this stuff out, let's decide what meat we want for dinner tonight so I don't put it all in the freezer. I made my recommendation. You want tacos? I, unless you have another recommendation. I can air fry the chicken and we can have the fish. You want tacos, Greg wants tacos. I love tacos. All right, I'll put the chicken and the fish in the freezer and I'll put the ground turkey in the refrigerator. This is a, a miscellaneous bag. All right, here's miscellaneous things from the house. My mom gave me, it's very sweet of her, all of Willie's old dog clothes. His sweater, his harness, his other Irish sweater. Her new dog is tiny, tiny. Not gonna be anywhere close to these size. So I'm gonna try these out on Bennett and see how she likes them. Bennett's like not even close to how big Willie was anyway, so these might not even fit, but it's worth the shot. She also gave me some photos. Here, do you wanna come over and look at these while I show everyone? Carl Heinz. It's my dad in the Naval Academy. Look at him, a stud. That's a man. <laughs> That's my oldest brother crying who by the way officially announced to the world that he's going to be a father i'm going to be an auntie they made the a fish announcement so i can say it so excited i can't wait to wreck that kid this is the look caroline's been practicing her entire life and that look is the look that she gives me <laughs> when i do something stupid <laughs> Fun? Nope. All the time. Wanna go left? 
Sure, isn't that where we always go? Wow, there's like a whole whole squadron down there. Hi Chung. I just wanted to show you guys the pansies my mom gave me. Each individual one was pretty small, so I didn't have any pots left over, obviously, and I put them in teacups. So I have a teacup collection, and some of these over the years, mostly due to you, have had saucers that have broken. So the ones without corresponding saucers anymore are used as little planners, and that's like a little creamer thing. The only thing is, I don't know anything about the roots of pansies, how far they're gonna go down, if them being so confined is gonna kill them. I do know that I'm going to be very careful about watering them and giving them just enough because these are not gonna allow for any drainage. So I have a feeling this might not be the best idea, but it's all we got, right monks? Yeah. <laughs> and now we're watching the nice. new, oh my god, the new Tiger King episode. This is awesome. My favorite thing about Luigi to the point of frustration. The rest are constantly testing your strategies and make you use all of Luigi's various poltergust powered abilities to counter them. Trying to sink even weight into both feet as you descend. This time as you exhale, parallel the feet. I just finished the last of my aloe moves split drills for the week and then I went straight into so the format is that you have I think five drills throughout the week which are about 15 minutes you've seen I've done you know two at a time or so and then after you finish all those drills throughout the week you're supposed to end the week with a flow and that flow will end in a peak pose during the flow which is you know one of your stereotypical impressive pioka moves that you, you've seen people do and think I'm never flexible enough for that. So this week was gonna be the firefly. And these are all moves that are designed to open up your hips and your hamstrings so that the very end, the culmination of all of it is the split. Well, firefly was the pose that we were supposed to have be able, be able to do during this flow and I could not get it and I was getting so frustrated. I wanted to cry, like honestly, I was getting so, cause I'm so hard on myself and I'm not able to do something. I like just really, I had to stop and take a breath and like, Stop talking down to yourself like this is a really hard pose. I'll have to say that my feedback so far is that I don't know if this class was maybe not designed for someone of so my yes no. low yoga skill level or my lack of flexibility. Maybe I just completely overlook that. Or if maybe it's truly unrealistic to expect someone to be able to do a firefly pose, which by the way is when you hook both of your legs over each of your shoulders and just hold yourself up by your hands. I couldn't yeah, get, I could. my shoulders don't go down that far. I just, I, I, I don't get it. I'm gonna keep trying. I know what stretches I need to do and like pull my foot back. I, I know what parts of my body need to be looser in order to do that. So I'm, I'm gonna work on warming up those parts of my body. But I don't wanna do a whole nother week and get to the end of the week and now not be able to do two poses, you know? So I'd be lying if I said I wasn't discouraged. <laughs> it's a good girl. Gimme! There she is! There's my Gim! This sweet baby Gim wants to say hello! Hello!